Hey, John Mashi here from the Veterans Healing Farm. Decided to pause for a minute, pull out my phone, and take a quick video, show you guys what I'm doing today. Uh, we basically have a cover crop. Now this cover crop that's laying down right here, uh, that was quite large, it was about four feet high, and it was made up of field peas, uh, vetch, and some oil sea radishes. And I basically used the golf cart and just rolled over it. It does the job, and now at this point I'm going through and I'm essentially raking it and I'm going to be layering it in mounds in order to create new permanent raised beds. And so the ones that are established, these guys over here that you've seen before, uh, those are uh, 50 foot rows, there's 30 of them, and they go east to west. And so these rows are going to be going north to south. And the reason for that is that it's essentially going to become a hoop house eventually. And so once we get the plant material layered in the row, uh, then we'll come through and I'll use a BCS rotary plow that we got from the Farmer Veteran Coalition. And from there, uh, eventually, as I said, we'll put a, a hoop house over it. And this is what the process looks like. Thanks so much. That was a little bit of work. I'm kind of tired now, but it's looking good so far. I think uh, tomorrow I'm just going to finish mounting these and just a little bit of work left to go. And right now, because the cover crop was layered over and it was so thick, the ground is pretty moist, so I'm going to let it dry probably most of the afternoon tomorrow. And then possibly late evening I'll check it, and if it's dry enough I'll come through. And I'm going to rotary plow on each side of it, and so that's going to cover it with soil. And then from there, I'm basically going to roll the uh, cardboard paper that we use. It's essentially newspaper, just a big roll of it. And that'll go down each side, so it'll go up one side and then like down the other. I'm sure you guys have seen it in other videos. And compost on the top, wood chips in the center. And we should have an excellent garden bed this summer. All this will decompose. It's almost similar to like a Hugo culture method for people that are familiar with that. That's where you basically take logs. We've done that in a variety of other settings. Um, but essentially instead of taking all of this plant material to a compost pile, it makes sense just to let it compost in place. And I think we're going to have a really great year. I want to show you guys, uh, you can maybe barely see it, but this is the sorghum sedan grass. And so this was uh, about seven feet high when I sowed it with a, a mixture of the different cover crop seeds. And I just rolled over it and everything came right up from underneath it. It, it winter kills, so once it got cold enough, it just died off and everything else just came right up. So this is a super simple way to prep a garden. Basically, you just till it one time, sow it with the sorghum sedan grass, then uh, roll it, sow it with the, the different cover crops and come spring of the next year, you're gonna have an incredible setup in order to start a raised bed system. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video and look forward to putting out more in the future. Thanks so much, bye.